What's up geeks and gamers and welcome to Game of Geeks and we have a response from everybody's favourite video game publisher Electronic Arts, the almighty EA. So in case you guys didn't know, uh, UFC 4 got a lot of backlash when they put in full on commercials in the middle of the game. Now like it says here, this is already a triple A priced game and they were playing ads during that game. So EA sparked a fresh fan backlash after adding in-game ads to UFC 4. Players notice advertisements briefly pop up at the beginning and the end of replays in the premium video game. And a clip of this has gone viral on Reddit with over 86,000 upvotes. The clip in question shows a full screen event for Amazon TV show The Boys alongside a 4th of September uh, 2020 date and the launch of the second season. This advert is also displayed at the end of the replay. The clip also reveals an advert for The Boys on the canvas and a third pop up during the actual gameplay at the bottom of the screen. Oh my god. So yeah, it's uh, pretty hectic isn't it? So now that all happened and uh, look, it, it absolutely blew up in their face and as you can imagine why, because this is a triple A fully priced game that's showing adverts, adverts, you know, it's not a phone game or anything like that. So now we have an update on that and EA has now removed the in-game ads from UFC 4 after fans flooded the company's social channels with complaints and rightfully so, because could you imagine paying full price for a game and having adverts in it? In a statement to Eurogamer that was also posted on Reddit, EA said earlier this week the team turned on ad placements in EA Sports UFC 4 that appeared during the replay moments in the game. This type of advertising inventory is not new to the UFC franchise, though we have typically reserved displaying ads for specific menu, main menu titles or octagon logo placements. It is abundantly clear from your feedback that integrating ads into the replay and overlay experience is not welcome. Well, duh, whoever could have guessed that? Anyway, they keep going. The advertisements have been displayed by the team and we apologize, sorry, have been disabled by the team and we apologize for any disruption to the gameplay that players may have experienced. We realize that this should have been communicated with players ahead of time and it's on us. I'll, I'll cut them off right there. They never should have done it. Full stop, period. But this is EA we're talking about. Let's keep going. We want to make sure our players have the best possible experience playing EA Sports UFC 4. So add integration into the replay and overlay experience will not be reappearing in the future. Thank you for your continued feedback on EA Sports UFC 4. Wow. I, 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 I don't know what, 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 what impresses me more. The fact they actually listened to the feedback or the fact that they actually had the balls to go ahead and put ads in a full priced AAA game. Uh, now, like they said, this is really nothing new from them, but it's just getting more and more ridiculous these days. I mean, EA is absolutely no stranger to fan backlash when it comes to greedy anti-consumer tactics like this. I mean, we need not mention the entire Star Wars Battlefront 2 situation, which damn near killed a game at launch, and it's a miracle that DICE was able to recover that game as much as they did within the time that they did as well. And now they're trying to pull this. Um, it just makes me wonder what, what nonsense are they going to pull next? And it's funny because yesterday we were just talking about how CDPR, CD Projekt Red, came out and said, look, we're not going to drop, we're not going to increase the price for Cyberpunk 2077 on the next generation of consoles. And we're also given a free upgrade to anyone that owns, owns The Witcher Free. And then today we're talking about EA just being even more greedy and putting ads in a triple A fully priced game. Uh, I am happy that they did listen to the consumer feedback. Uh, we live in a day and age where there's never been such a direct line between the people that make these games or movies or whatever and the people that consume them. And now that we have this direct line, they kind of have to realize that they're also in the customer service business as well. So I'm happy that they did respond in such a positive way and fix the situation here, but it's EA and I can't help but wonder what crazy stuff they'll pull next but what do you guys think of all this drop your thoughts in the comment section down below be sure to subscribe to gaming with geeks share the video around leave a big thumbs up on it consider becoming a channel member check out geeksandgamers.com maybe become a premium member over there for more exclusive geeks and gamers content stay safe take care of yourself and i'll see you all in the next video